Today we celebrated Suresh Nishati's 75th birthday. And in Granagar Zimmi and he uh, got the cake out and run out in the cake for him. And he came with his friends to our ashram. It was a good day. And it was nice to see him coming after a long time. Today he was a good man with looking after his schools. Alexander Dumas, born on 24th July 1802 in France, died on 5th December 1817 in France, he was a French writer. His works have been translated to many languages and he is one of the most widely read French authors. Ten his novels have been adapted since the early 20th century into nearly 200 films. Alexander Dumas said, never fear quarrels, but seek hazardous adventures. Adventures of the rich comes exactly the get. The rich use the quarrels to find gold inside that it is hazardous to find the muddy waters. And that's where you find the birds are on the bottom of the ocean. Alexander never fear quarrels. Yes, quarrels are a strength. Even in our martial arts, the keep on turning. When you hit, you hit with so full power. Your opponent should feel the power and opponent should know how to block it. That gives the opponent a chance to go and practice more harder and come. But if you plan and kick, plan and attack, then suddenly a foreign invasion will come, they will never become strong. To become strong and to get away from the diseases, enemies entering your body and your mind, you have to have a very strong quarrel. If it is there, enjoy the quarrel, but don't carry the quarrel. When you carry the quarrel, is the only one problem. One Zen master was going with his disciple and he reached the bank of a river and there was heavy rain and it was flooded and as we were about to cross the river the younger monk saw a pretty Japanese girl waiting on the bank of the river. He lifted her into her shoulder and dropped her on the other side of the bank. And the elder monk and the younger one kept walking. After an hour's time, the elder monk stopped and told the younger monk, You know, according to our scriptures, we are not allowed to, monks are not allowed to touch a girl, not even allowed to talk a girl, look at a girl. Forget about looking at a girl or touch a girl. You lifted her up and you brought it to the other side of the bank. And the younger monk said, I already left her. One hour back, why are you still carrying? Never fear quarrels, don't carry your quarrels. One teacher saw two children non stop fighting. She couldn't stop them from the fighting, so she told them that tomorrow when you come, you both have to bring one kilogram of potatoes in your bag. The children brought, and he said, Now you're not going to keep the bag down when you go to the toilet, you want to eat food. You want to sleep, the bag should be with you. And first day passed, second day it was too terrible. Third day it started stinking and the shoulder was paining. Children started crying. They went to the teacher, please excuse us, we cannot carry anymore. Then the teacher said, quarrels are like that. If you carry the quarrels in like the potatoes, it will be very heavy, it will hurt you. Secondly, it starts stinking. Your life is lost. Drop the potatoes then in there. Like in a machine, you should full power in end of the fight. Both ends together and say, Arigatou Gurdayas. Thank you very much. And a bear hug. That means you, you gave me your best talent and I was able to understand the best talent. You both will go and take one step ahead. Kaisan, one more step ahead. Every work should be like that in every house to remove poverty. Husband and wife quarrels are but seek hazardous adventures. In that quarrel, it might be hazardous, it might be very dangerous, like the rich adventures of the rich. Hazardous adventures, they take it, 
but you will always succeed because everybody will love your adventures everybody love your guts that you take in for the don't worry about the, the failure you're going to win or lose take it forward alexander dumas said never fear quarrels yes people get they focus on the quarrel and then they die in the quarrel never fear quarrels when quarrels comes just enter the quarrels yes go deep to find out what went wrong from there we can find out the reason behind all this but seek hazardous adventures and from that lesson of the quarrel hazardous adventures we can take several adventures because we knew oh so that's all that's all the fight is it's a power then you can plan different different systems very very creative in the long run alexander dumas never fear quarrels never fear quarrels of your in your house the family fight is the most beautiful because when the children grow up they keep telling you oh, how much pillow fights you had how much is quarrel but at the end we all loved it that quarrel helps you to grow because in the quarrel only your diamond starts shining in the quarrel only you start burning you have a burning fire a fire burning in your stomach in your heart in your brain and when it burns it to the highest temperature only it starts melting the hardest the rock which is not allowing you to think the hardest of you is not allowing you to be creative it starts melting once it starts melting ah, learn a lesson from the melting you will find yes it is mind boggling beauty but when you are not conscious husband and wife fight and they don't talk to it no 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 brother is no 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 everyone but think it's a god's gift yes when people come to rakum school and spit on us when all students leave our school and spit on us when the staff leave our school spit on us when low students and staff go outside and talk bad about us we very happy because in their quarrel in their thing we understand to work harder to find our next step how we can make things better for the next generation so that they don't feel hurt we can take the hurt but let us allow them to go without much hurt without much feeling but they have to become strong to become creative never fear quarrels in that you find that your grandfather and grandmother are diamonds yes you feel you lose the diamonds you run up to ordinary rocks and from there you connect to the joint family today also one one group of people came and they told me so much you have been talking about family is it possible to go back to the family to join from there where is the family tree where is the joint family it is impossible i said mahatma gandhi said quit india don't quit and run away from your family baba amte said knit india knit back your family knit it back that's what the grandmother and grandfather said after 65 years of the um, marriage they had a big celebration in america 64th wedding anniversary all the tv all the people ka media people ka rush to take the story from them and one of them asked the granny granny 65 years how did you live with that man and granny said now with this all the children smallest fight they divorce and go smallest to tear they throw the clothes and they buy new ones but our times whenever there is a fight we stitch it back and now anything is broken we put it back into positions stitch we stitch it back the stitching back is a lesson you don't tear it up and throw it out the moment you tear and throw it out you must understand when you never fear quarrels when you fear quarrels you stick and focus on the quarrels people use you. somebody will use your tell somebody use your well somebody use your family your family is broken to pieces the family which you work very very hard is no more you create no more because you allow the other people to remote control you think about that never free calls from there the joint family or a thousand times before you go to the stage goes to say before you go to act before you go to say thousand times you should read in conscious state before you go to like because for one question you get a thousand varieties interpretations and hundred is hundred 
Likewise, you go back to the joint family and you can see it spits out the spit. It's better than the other stranger spit. It's better than the hospitals going there, boom, they punch, uh, give you an injection, put you in the ICU and tell you, I will see you all your money. No, no, no. Like the um, nucleus family, husband and wife, the newly married husband, or husband said, she got a cold, wife takes him to Manipur hospital and uh, they give her a bill of two and a half lakhs. But if it is a joint family, when the husband says, hot, she cold, she goes and talks to his mother or grandmother, grandmother will tell, oh, this boy, I know, she'll make an inky, 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 pudding and she'll yeah, roll it up, put it in his mouth, give one on his mouth, he'll run to the office. Now, your quarrels. The moment you are in the quarrels, you are used, never fear, but seek hazardous adventures. Hazardous is dangerous adventures. You feel because of material world, you think it's dangerous, not dangerous. It is just beautiful and just go focus. Is there when I started the, the school, Rakum School for the Blind, everybody said, Do, nobody will believe NGOs. NGOs are all cooks and cheats. I never listened. But my focus was, I wanted to serve. So what? When I first started, I was teaching 15 schools. I was trying to collect as much money as possible to feed my children. Then I thought, I told the school principal, to can I collect old clothes for my blind school and uh, something on the uh, birthdays. For the very first year, all, most of the principals said, it's, it's not possible. I crashed and I sat in Indranagar. Then Star of Koramugla came, Star of Indranagar started writing. Now it's history. The hazardous adventures is not very painful yet, just wait and you can see the pressure on you will go off and then you can swim back. Alexander Dumas never fear quarrels but sit myself as